now we're going to go to another sports-related story. And this one's involving Josh Primo. The He was the second-year player from the San Antonio Spurs. And yes, and something interesting happened yesterday. Uh, after about a week of getting his uh, option picked up on a rookie year contract, the San Antonio Spurs released him before their game last night against the Chicago Bulls. But now, then uh, Josh released a statement needing to work time through past traumas. Well, now we are getting to the source of it. The San Antonio Spurs release of Go Josh Lua Prima, Primo, the number 12 pick in the 2021 NBA draft, stemmed from multiple alleged instances of him exposing himself to women, sources told ESPN. The decision to release Primo on Friday night was sudden and shocking. Spoke to the severity of the issues surrounding the promising 19-year-old player. The team had recently picked up the $4.3 million 2023-24 option on Primo's contract, signifying a level of confidence in his future with the franchise. Many NBA teams remain intrigued with Primo's talent and potential, but are searching for a more complete understanding of the situation as they weigh the possibility of placing a claim to acquire Primo before he clears waivers and becomes a free agent Monday afternoon, sources say. In a statement to ESPN on Friday night, Primo acknowledged a need to continue mental health treatment more fully. I've been seeking to help to deal with previous trauma I suffered and will now take this time to focus on my mental health treatment more fully. I hope to discuss these issues in the future so I can help others who have suffered in a previous way. I appreciate privacy at this time. I'm going to say that this is not a good look for you, Josh Primo. And what I'm thinking he is now going through is the shame of all the bombshells being dropped out down on him following this thing that came out. Kill you. What is it with guys wanting to expose themselves to women? What is the end game here? Exactly. There are so many guys out there who do not get. It's amazing how so many guys think that women like dick pics. When it's uh, something that could be one of the furthest things that they would want. Women want guys who could talk to them like normal people for a while. Before they get to like more hot, racy, sexy stuff in conversation. <clears throat> and that's the problem so many... That's a concept that so many guys fail to grasp the concept of. You know, in actuality, if you can talk to women normally and show that you care about more than sex with them, they still may not want that dick pic, but the difference is uh, they'd rather have that dick inside of them. If you can uh, have that type of discipline in relation, building relationships, because when you just go to this uh, quick ass thing, it's just going to more than likely get you ridiculed and embarrassed. And I think that him weaponizing the, the language of mental health, that's, a, that's shameful. <laughs> a guy that exposes himself not wants privacy at all? That's a sad part right there. <clears throat> is the fact that this, this is an example of 
there should be a cautionary tale of what happens when you think you know all the right moves when uh, you're breaking out all the wrong ones when you try to uh, engage with women online. Or even if it's someone that you met in person, but then you think, oh, we saw each other in person. It's okay to break out the dick pics. Not any better than... That's not going to work out any better for you. But I know that there's a... And Shams, just uh, in the midst of the show, uh, dropped another bombshell on this story. Sources. A former Spurs female employee has alleged that guard Josh Primo has exposed himself to her, and she has a tired attorney, Tony Busby. Busby represented the women in the sexual misconduct lawsuits against NFL quarterback Deshaun Watson. <clears throat> you, you have to wonder how often, um, you know, these guys don't pay attention to their other fellow athletes fucking up. This uh, Deshaun Watson shit's been all over for the past year and a half or so. And you've got... What type of blinders do dudes like Josh Primo have on to not see what's happened? Like, not only that, the Robert Kraft uh, massage parlor incident... Kelly M. As a woman, I can say confidence and sense of humor are much better than dick pics. Uh, yes, that right there is true. And I can say from experience that it's better to just let women open up boundaries like that and uh, give the consent rather than uh, trying to uh, do things without permission or consent. Permission and consent is a very big thing to learn. And you could uh, push the envelope much better with consent than you could without it. But overall, just be yourself. Try to show that you can be a normal person and not be... Uh, sex deranged then you'll uh, get further places in life and and the fact that you there's people like Josh Primo who think that their status has afforded to them the privilege of skipping those steps and the facts are That's just not going to work like it used to. And I'm, my idea of a dick pic site is still money. These peace stretching guys from Australia, different colors and shaping, and photoshopping. Interesting, but I'm sure that there's going to be more and more details that come out on the whole. Uh, Josh Primo story. And I would hope that more athletes or celebrities and other high status people pay attention to this. Because uh, your privilege should not like uh, give you the should not be a pass from consequences like this. There is ethics involved here that you should be following in your interpersonal interactions with others. 
and they should apply whether you're Deshaun Watson, Josh Primo, Robert Kraft, or you're just the average dude online who, for some reason, hasn't gotten it through the numb skull of theirs that sending out dick pics uh, doesn't work. <laughs> Science has already exists. It's called chat roulette. Uh, some very weird times could be had uh, checking out chat roulette, by the way. But I'm surprised he forgot about that, by the way. <laughs> But it's interesting, the two uh, latest mini-scandals in the NBA this year have been uh, related to uh, unethical sexual behavior. I think the Ime Udoka one is definitely more gray areas to it. But this one is uh, definitely more. Uh... <laughs> oh, sending dick pics to work for Brett Favre. <laughs> oh, I forgot about him. You know, that reminds me of other dudes who've been caught sending dick pics as well. Uh, Greg Odin, Seth Rollins. Those are a couple of the other big names that come to mind as those who've been exposed for sending them. And that reminds me, like, uh, oh yeah, Media Takeout was a great site to... Uh... <laughs> yes, him too, WCSN. Media Takeout was a great uh, site for all that uh, celebrity gossip, and they, they were one of the ones that would have all the... that would show all the moments of uh, celebrities being put on blast for sending their dick pics. <laughs> oh. Speaking of Brett Favre, by the way, oh, when's that guy going to see any actual accountability for what he uh, played a role in in Mississippi, by the way? Uh, but the moral of the story is, in the world of dating, don't send dick pics. Unless women ask for them. Because even some of the women who may don't even like dick pics at all, even if they have sex with you. So, rule number one, guys, no dick pics. If you... Start there. Uh, you could start to have more success in your dating life. Robert, quote, happy endings craft hill. But, yeah, but that guy did not get anywhere near the punishment for doing uh, some of the same things that Deshaun Watson did. But I think the difference was is, is because he didn't go to professional massage places. He didn't use professionals. So that's why he's not in as much trouble as Deshaun Watson. <clears throat> Let's see. Go to the YouTubes real quick and uh, show off the upcoming show to go to. Let's see as uh There. Yes. Even though neither of you on, neither you or Kelly or WCSN on Twitter, make a trend, Jimmy. Make a trend, Uncle Warren. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. Sending. Uh, Pictures of the dishes getting done requires a second person. And that's a thing that some of these dick-sending guys don't want that 
a extra hand of assistance. <laughs> I knew what you're saying, Jimmy. <laughs> 